So you may be wondering, how can we use the angle measure in a regular polygon in our life? So the vertex angle measurement in life, well, we can arrange polygons to cover a plane just like we can arrange ceramic tiles or carpet squares to cover a countertop or a floor. Such arrangement is called tessellation. Tessellation. Here you can see tessellation or tiling is when we cover a surface with a pattern of flat shapes so that there are no overlaps or gaps. So here's some examples of a brick wall where they use rectangles. Octagons and squares. Notice you have these octagons here and squares are filling up those gaps between the octagons. Different types of pentagons. These are all five sides each and they have different colors. Now look at regular tessellations a regular tessellation is a pattern made by repeating a regular polygon, which is what we just learned. There are only three regular tessellations. You can either use triangles, squares, or hexagons. Looking at the vertex, a vertex is just the corner point in between the tiles, so different types of shapes can meet there. So here we have three hexagons meet at the vertex, and a hexagon has six sides. So this is a six by six by six tessellation. For a regular tessellation, the pattern is identical at each vertex. And you can see here for non-regular tessellations, semi-regular, it's made of two or more regular polygons. This just gives you an idea that they're not all the same size, but you can mix and match to have different tiling. So next time you're thinking about retiling your home, you should think about if you want a regular polygon tessellation or a semi-regular tessellation, and which design will suit you better. Another way you can think of this practice is Say you bought your tile and a bunch of squares. This is, has four sides. So you know that based off the formula that we recently had shown, we have the side minus 2 times 180 over the sides is going to give us our vertex angle. So here we have 4 minus 2 times 180 over 4 equals 2 over 4 times 180. Which we cancel, this becomes 2, and the 2 will go into 180 90 times, so it's 90 degrees per side, per angle, every angle. And there's four sides, so that means the shape takes up 360 degrees. Now say you are going to purchase more square tiling, and they've either run out or they became extremely expensive. And so you have to switch up your tiling without changing the, the shape or the structure. So you can think of what will fit into a square. Let's look at our friend triangle. Triangle has three sides, so three minus two over 3 times 180, which is 1 times 180 over 3, which is 60 degrees for every vertex angle. We multiply that by the three sides, and we have 180. 180 is half of 360. That means if you go and purchase your triangles instead of your squares, then what you can do is
you can fit two of these in that square. Or you can change the pattern up. Say you want to keep your square pattern, or you have your square pattern, and now you know that you can use triangles. You can put one triangle here, then you can maybe put another square here, then you can put another, you put a triangle here, and then you put a square here, etc. And you can play with the shapes and the structures. This is not the prettiest tiling, but you could think of just doing the triangles and maybe changing the colors up. So this will work in squares. Would it work in something else? Perhaps a pentagon. So if we want to think, we want to see if it would work in a pentagon. We we'll use our handy little formula. Pentagon, we know, has five sides. So we'll plug it in. We'll have 5 minus 2 times 180 over 5 equals 3 times 180 over 5. And came out to be pentagon. This would equal 108. Now we take, we know that the vertex angle is 108. We multiply that by how many sides we have, and we wound up getting that the entire pentagon equals 540 degrees. So now we have to think, can a triangle go into a pentagon? Well, that's the same as saying, can 180 degrees go into 540 degrees? And so, we multiply that in, or we divide out the 540, it happens to be that 180 goes in three times. Three times 180, zero times three, eight times three is 24, three times one is three, plus two is 540. So how would that look like? Let's use the space here to see. So a pentagon has five sides. So we would have one, two, three, four, five. And so we have to fit these triangles in there. So we can put one, let's say, here looks like a good spot. This is 180. Here looks like a good spot. This is 180, and this is 180. So now you see that there are different ways that you can tile just based off of using triangles. And this is all through tessellation, or it's also called, tessellation is also called tiling. Thanks for watching How to Tile from Polygons.